morning everybody what a beautiful scene on this Oklahoma Saturday morning as the Sun comes up I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, yesterday again you know when I was at that drywall plant there in uh, Fletcher Oklahoma there wasn't a lot going on because it was late in the afternoon in the past when I've been there it's been earlier in the day and it's pretty busy you know a lot of drivers in there picking up loads swapping trailers but not so yesterday it was only maybe two other drivers that I saw in there and uh, I talked to one of them it was a older gentleman now I'm old but he was older <laughs> uh, so right before he left he came over to talk to me and was kind of asking how to get out of there you know I guess he had come in from a different direction and was asking how to get out I kind of told him the way I went because he was heading uh, in fact his load may go to the same place I'm delivering to because he said it he goes to Little Rock with it and he wasn't able wasn't gonna be able to get home uh, but anyway um, I don't know that for sure anyway I told him which way I was going and how to get back to the freeway and um, where the closest travel center was that I could think of because he was wanting to get on some scales and check his weight um, he said his truck his truck weighed something like 32,500 which our Maverick trucks weigh I mean I usually empty you know the truck with an empty trailer I usually weigh about 29,500 give or take a couple hundred pounds but he weighed 32.5 he said so uh, he was wanting to go scale anyway we got to talking now I will say uh, I think he was with uh, Melton you guys uh, you know if you're searching around for companies and doing your research you've probably seen Melton I'm not sure where they're out of um, but they do I don't know if they do totally flatbed or, or not, but they, they do have flatbedding. And um, he, he mentioned that he was like, he'd been with them a long time. He didn't say how long, but it must be many years because he did say that he had, he's like a multi-million mile driver with them. And then uh, he mentioned that they had recently gotten a six cent per mile pay raise. And I said, yeah, yeah, Maverick gave us a three cent pay raise a couple of weeks ago and it increased our tarp pay. And he's like, well, what do you get for tarping? I said, well, you know, back in December, it went up from 25 to $35. And then just a few weeks ago, you know, it went up to $50. So and he was like, theirs went up to a hundred dollars which I thought was I'd never heard anybody uh, that got paid that much for tarping a hundred dollars for tarping so, wow but turns out that even as long as he's been driving for them he's making less per mile several cents per mile less than what I'm I'm making or what you can make at Maverick so you know it's one of those deals where you know companies have a have different ways of paying you know some do more per mile some add on more fees for tarping or detention or whatever and you know as long as you're comfortable and happy with how you're getting paid at the end of the week and you feel like it's worth your time then you know just go with it it doesn't really matter how it gets in heck I've got I've got one buddy that's uh, he used to drive for Maverick but he left took a, another gig closer to his hometown and 
and uh, he's doing not flatbed anymore but heck he makes more money in detention than he does driving he gets paid like 26.50 an hour going to get his truck washed uh, sitting waiting which he has to do a lot you know he'll wait four or six hours delivering and picking up loads you know regularly so he I mean seriously he, he probably makes more money sitting around waiting than he does driving <laughs> that's not the case with us you know if we're sitting around waiting we're not going to make much money so uh, but anyway that was interesting to talk to him and get some different information he's a nice fella Maybe I'll see him Monday if he's delivering at the same place I am. But man, what some beautiful scenery this morning. I'm headed east, so I got a good view of the sunrise. This is the view from my office. Come get you a Maverick truck and you can have this same beautiful view. You know, we really do kind of just get paid for taking road trips. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we have to work like I was telling my wife yesterday, and, and my son, too, one of my sons, too, we were talking on the phone, because he's, he's starting a new job Monday, so we were talking about that. And uh, so, yeah, I was talking to my son and my wife about, uh, I had a pretty hard day, you know, I made a delivery with the big tarps. Uh, it's getting pretty warm this time of year, and then I, I had to do a pickup. Again, big tarps. Warm, so pretty difficult afternoon, you know, as far as just physical work goes. You know, some days are easy where you just drive, and then some days, you know, you you work. But when I say you work, I mean when you add it all up. I mean I actually was only working, doing physical labor, you know, for a couple of hours. <laughs> it's really in the big picture, it's very little. You know, in flatbedding, even though we're doing physical work some, as opposed to other types of trucking, it's still only a few hours a week. So, you know, it's not that much. Most of the time, you're just driving. And, uh, you know, so, you know, really, that's one of the things I like about this gig is, you know, every day is different. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys by filming this stuff is that you know every day is different going to different places seeing different states um, terrain weather I mean I, I've seen more of the country in the past couple of years than I've seen in my whole life uh, so I enjoy that part of it you know Anyway, um, just trying to get this week wrapped up. You know, I've still got over four hours. <coughs> excuse me, over four hours to go to get to North Little Rock. So I'm still in uh, Eastern Oklahoma, uh, just traveling the entire way on I-40 eastbound. And as you can see, there's lots of road construction over here. Anyway, I'll uh, touch base with you once I arrive in North Little Rock. Okay, everybody. Paper boy back at you. I'm almost back to the North Little Rock Maverick Yard here on Valentine Road. About to put an end to this week. Just to recap, you know, since this is the week of, you know, following Memorial Day, I didn't leave out till Tuesday morning. Getting back here to the Maverick Yard uh, a little after 11 a.m. on Saturday. And then this load I have delivers Monday as long as I get it there by 10 a.m. So again, here on the right, this is the Maverick Driving Academy. Uh, not much, not anything going on out there right now. Just four or five trucks parked out there. But if you come here to get your... CDL, you'll be spending some time there practicing your maneuvers and learning. And then here's the main office and yard. Oh, 
I just remembered they got some concrete work going on here. We got a message about this a couple days ago. All the traffic has to use this one lane here. The in, it serves as the in and the out. So, uh, well, that's good though, because there was a kind of a bump pothole there on that side. All right, let's see if we can find a place to park. This time of day, I'll probably have to get on the front row. And then I'm going to walk. Now, once I get all my personal stuff moved over into my little car, I'm going to drive over here to the shop and uh, write up a form to uh, have my truck you know I've got that the landing gear handle is broken and I'm gonna have them check the ABS light I'm just gonna park right here on the end now I'll go up that front spot right there that'd be an easy easy shot problem is when you put your truck into the shot you have no idea like Monday morning I'll have no idea where my truck is I have to search for it around the lot <laughs>